Last time on Total Drama Random Island, Justin decided to make some moves as he built his own alliance, annoying Lorenzo. Dwayne and Kitty are trying to make Duncan open up to no avail. In the game of Dodgeball, it was ultimately Killer Bass who won by using unorthodox strategies to beat the much stronger Screaming Gophers. Though Lorenzo promised Cody safety if he voted with him, it was ultimately a promise he couldn't keep as DJ betrayed his buddy and voted out Cody to give Justin's alliance majority. Millie is crying over Cody leaving and Ella goes over before saying that she's sorry she voted him out and Millie asks why she wouldn't just vote Justin and Ella says that she didn't want to be voted out if she wasn't in majority. Justin comes over and says that Ella shouldn't be talking to someone like Millie, she's too beautiful to be doing that, and Ella hesitantly agrees and leaves before Justin talks to Millie and says that he's sorry he voted Cody out, he was just the only target he could get, and he needed to make sure the others were loyal to him since the person he did want out is being protected by one of his members. Millie asks who that is, and Justin says he wants Lorenzo out. He knows that Lorenzo was trying to get him out yesterday, and he doesn't want to risk that man getting enough allies to vote him out. Justin asks if she wants to be in the alliance, and Millie says that she wants to think about it. Justin leaves, and Lorenzo comes out from under the bed, which freaks out Millie, who asks what he's doing in the girl's dorm, and he says that he wanted to talk to her, but Ella and Justin made that impossible for a while. They need to vote off Justin. He's made it clear that he was the one in charge of Cody leaving. Millie agrees and asks who they could possibly get to help, but Lorenzo says that all that matters is that Justin has a bad performance in today's challenge. Amy goes to Taylor and tells her that things are bad. Jock seems to think that Sammy is better than her for some reason. Taylor asks how they could possibly think that, and Amy agrees but says that they need to form an alliance before Sammy goes rogue and gets them out. Chris welcomes everyone to the next challenge. Today is the time-honored tradition of the talent show. Each team will nominate three contestants to come up and exhibit their talents. The team that scores the highest amount of points with the state-of-the-art chef meter is the winner. Blainley says that this is in the bag. She can identify talent a hundred miles away. Blainley says that first off, Justin should go since his looks will at least score a couple points, but who else is the major question. Lorenzo says he can show off his physique as well, and Blainley says that nobody wants to see an ironing board. Elodie chimes in and says that B is quite talented, giving him a shot would do wonders. Blainley says that is a fine idea, and finally, Ella can sing or something. On Killer Bass, Kitty says that they should put Duncan up, but Duncan says that last time he checked, graffiti isn't legal, despite how good he is at it. Taylor says that she will go, she will show exactly why she shouldn't be voted off. Duncan says that that's fine, see if he cares before leaving. Jock says that he would go, but his ankle is currently sprained and he doesn't know if he could do his routine. But Tammy says that that's okay, she will go and captivate everyone with her spells. Jock says that he regrets this already and nobody else offers until Tammy says that Spud should go since she believes he can do something and Amy says that at that point they might as well forfeit entirely. Dwayne is with Duncan as he's searching for the idol and Duncan tells him to stop following him but Dwayne says that he understands that his parents parents might not have been the most supportive, and that gets a violent reaction from Duncan who asks who told him, and Dwayne just says that it's written on his face, and Duncan sighs before saying that his mom and dad hate him, he's been to juvie more times than he can count, and he is currently on parole, and they think talking to some people outside of jail will do him some good. Dwayne says that that's a neat story, he won't pry any further, but if he needs a friend, he's here. Duncan says that he doesn't need Dwayne before stopping and just saying he'll consider it. Kitty is excited as she hears from Dwayne that he was able to break through Duncan's cold exterior. The talent show begins and Justin is first. It gives a measly amount of points and Lorenzo says that this is it. This is the chance they've been waiting for. Taylor goes up next and sings so badly it hurts everyone's ears and she scores one point. Lorenzo says in confessional that this is bad. If Killer Bass really suck that bad then they won't ever win. Ella is next and she starts off by saying that she will try and sing better than the previous participant before starting her song which gets an above average score. Tammy is next and she says that she will display her best spells, first a disappearing spell. She plays on her ocarina but nothing happens and after a while doing spells that don't work she's taken off the stage with a 2 since it was just boring and not painful like Taylor's. Lorenzo is nervous at this point and Millie says that this should be fine, they will stay another week as long as they win and Lorenzo says that that may be true but this is the only time he may have all the members he needs. Finally for Screaming Gophers, B goes up with a robotic contraption that gets above average points. 
Finally, Spud goes up, and Duncan says that it's over before Tammy turns on a radio, and Spud starts slow before rocking out, giving the killer bass a perfect score and the victory. Duncan in confessional says that honestly, he didn't think he could do it, but Spud honestly may be more useful than he once realized. Before elimination, Lorenzo goes to Blainley and asks what she wants to do in this game. Blainley says that she wants to become a host of her own show. Lorenzo asks if playing second fiddle to Justin will really get her there, and she realizes that's true. Lorenzo says that he can get her the spotlight she craves, all she has to do is vote out Justin with them. They have the numbers. Blainley in confessional says she didn't trust him at first, but Lorenzo has a good point. She can't let Justin's good looks sway her decisions. She has to go for the kill and be cutthroat. Lorenzo goes to DJ and whispers in his ear the plan. At elimination, Chris says that he doesn't understand what's going on with them. One moment they're doing well, and the next, well, they're here again. Same thing as the last two times, people safe are Ella, DJ, Millie, B, Elodie, Lorenzo, Owen, and finally, Justin. Blainley is shocked and she stands up before going to Lorenzo and asking what happened, and Lorenzo just says that he exposed the rat is all. Justin says in the confessional that he didn't know about Blainley's loyalty. He gave Lorenzo a deal before the challenge. If he can make Blainley break, him and Millie can join despite being ugly. Otherwise, Lorenzo would have been the one going home today. Blainley says that this isn't the last we've seen of her, and she's pushed onto the boat. And that's that for episode 4 of Total Drama Random Island. What did you think? Question of the week. What do you think about having two episodes of a series before moving on to the next one? I've been thinking about doing that for a while, but I'd love to hear your thoughts on it, and I'll see you all next time on Total Drama Random Island.